missile down. There's one on the graph with them. Oh, that is typically how they eat. They absolutely choke that thing. Not a big one, but man, it's fun. All right, guys, not a big fish there. I'm down on Table Rock Lake in Missouri. Nice little smallmouth there. I think there's more down there. Looked like there was a whole school on my graph. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a finesse rig that a lot of guys probably aren't throwing. It's a little bit more of an old school technique, and honestly, I don't even really wanna talk about it, but here I am talking about it. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Today is all about the hula grub. I know that you might be thinking, well, what the heck is a hula grub? This is not a secret lure by any means. Actually, this is a little bit more of an old school technique. If you talk to some of the, the guys who have been bass fishing for a long time, a hula grub, and this is also kind of known as like a spider jig, they've been fishing this for a number, a number of years. But I think for the newer generation of fishermen, you don't hear a lot of those guys talk about the hula grub. And the reason why I think that you should start picking it up and start fishing it is I've actually seen on multiple, multiple locations where the hula grub actually out outperforms lures like a Ned Rig. And everybody knows how good a Ned Rig is and how many fish it can catch, whether they're spotted bass, smallmouth, or largemouth. The Ned Rig has become so popular that I think everybody's throwing it. Everybody has one tied up, everybody's throwing it. So if you get out to your lake and a lot of guys are throwing Ned Rigs, pick up a hula grub instead. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I know it looks kind of funny in the water, but I, I, I can promise you that this thing gets a lot of bites. It catches big fish. You can't ask for anything else in bass. Fish. Is that another fish? I think that's a little bit better one there. It pulls so hard. Golly, that hula grub is just so good. Yeah, that's a better, that's a better one. Oh, sucker just was a missile down there. Look, there's one on the graph with him. Oh! Butchered that. There we go. Golly. When you catch them on the hula grub, that is typically how they eat it. They absolutely choke that thing. It's such a beautiful small mouth. If they're feeding on crawfish, a hula grub is a deadly technique that's gonna get bites even when a jig sometimes doesn't. Now there are actually a lot of different brands out there that kind of make this spider grub, like the one that I'm holding right here. This is my favorite one though, the one that I've been talking about a lot in the video, which is a Gary Yamamoto hula grub. I just like the plastic of this bait, but I'm not saying that the other brands won't work just as well. Typically when I fish it, I fish it on a football jig head, like the ones that I have here. My best friend actually pours these jig heads for me. Typically I'm fishing it on a quarter ounce ounce or a three eighths ounce, but it's really, really simple to rig one of these up. I'm simply just gonna feed that hula grub up the shank of the hook, trying to make it as straight as possible. And typically I take a little dab of glue and I'm gonna put it right here on the plastic keeper just to keep that plastic up on the hook shank longer. And that's literally it right there guys again it's it's super simple that sucker is a fish catching machine there's really two colors i think that you need with the hula grub again you're mimicking crawfish so the first one is going to be a green pumpkin or natural color i really just like a straight green pumpkin I think that it works really, really well. And I use that probably 90, 95% of the time. Now, the other color that you can use is like a black. Black is really gonna be for those cloudy days for the most part. I'm typically fishing the hula grub in pretty clean water, if not really, really clear water, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work in muddier water. I actually fished a Bassmaster Open, uh, I think last year, it was just a couple years ago. I was actually threading the five inch hula grub onto a jig head and pitching it up against the bank and catching Coosa River spotted bass. And that was an absolute blast. For the most part though, I'm gonna use the four inch model when it comes to the hula grub. I like that bait, cause again, this is kind of like that finesse presentation. You know, a hula grub to me really seems to work when like the fish are feeding on crawfish, but it seems like that bigger profile jig just really isn't getting the number of bites or at least the bites that you want. It's really kind of a finesse jig type technique. Now, the other time that I really like to fish the hula grub is really 
anytime I'm fishing for smallmouth bass. Smallmouth obviously have a smaller mouth. So sometimes it can be a little bit difficult for them to get their mouth around a bigger football jig. This hula grub though, they really have no problems. I can't tell you how many fish I've caught on a, on a hula grub smallmouth that just absolutely have that jig kind of choked in the back of their throat. They absolutely love it. it. It really mimics a crawfish well. When it comes to fishing this bait, it's it's really, really simple. And for the most part, the slower that you fish it, the better it's going to be. You know, the hula grub really does the work by itself. It has a lot of little appendages. It has that skirt on it. And when you just bring it slowly across the bottom, it just looks like a crawfish down there kind of meandering its way around. And you'll have smallmouth spots, largemouth, they'll all come and pick that bait up. So I really like a slow drag most of the time. Now something that I do a lot with this bait, especially later in the summer, you know when you get into August and September and the bass fishing starts to get really tough, a lot of times I like to kind of pop that hula grub. And so I'm going to work it just like you would a jig across the bottom. I'm basically casting it out and I'm slowly dragging it across. And every now and then I'm just gonna give it three little rod snaps is what I do. I just kind of go pop, 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 just like that, and then let it fall. And you would be surprised. Sometimes that is literally how you'll catch every single fish your day. You'll be dragging that bait along, not getting any bites at all, and you'll go pop, 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 just like that, and boom, that popping action just really triggers those fish to biting that bait. So it's a really simple lure to fish and it's really, really effective. It's really easy to remember where to throw a hula grub because I throw them in the exact same place that I throw a Ned Rig. You know, a Ned Rig is a phenomenal bait, a very extremely finesse technique. And I throw this bait in the same areas. And sometimes I actually find that the hula grub outperforms the Ned Rig. Now, when I throw this bait, I'm typically throwing it on an open hook. I don't have a weed guard and I really like to fish it, you know, primarily on rock and hard bottom areas. Now, every now and then you'll get into situations where you're fishing a lot of hard bottom areas like rock, but there'll be a lot of wood mixed in. Maybe it's some lay downs and some brush piles, or maybe there's some random stumps. In that case, you can actually use this with a a little bit of a weed guard. It's gonna help you from hanging up so much. But for the most part, I really like to fish it in more open water areas, really kind of focusing on rock and hard bottom areas where I think crawfish live. Now there's two rod and reel combinations that I like to use when I'm fishing the hula grub. So pretty much anytime I'm fishing 15 foot of water and less, I'm gonna fish a quarter ounce hula grub. And when I'm fishing a quarter ounce, I like to fish it on a spinning rod. So typically I'm using 10 pound braid to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and the, the spinning reel of your choice. Now, as far as the rod goes, anything between that seven foot and seven foot six inch medium is gonna work perfect. Now, sometimes I will fish a little bit heavier of a hula grub. I'll fish a three eighths ounce. And in that case, if I'm fishing three eighths ounce, I'm gonna put it on like a seven foot two inch medium heavy heavy bait cast rod, and I'm gonna do 12 pound straight fluorocarbon. Guys, if you know that the bass are eating crawfish on your lake and you can't get them to bite a jig or maybe another bait, pick this hula grub up. Like I said, it's a finesse technique and it gets a ton of bites and the suckers absolutely choke it. Get yourself a pack of hula grubs, four inch green pumpkin, some quarter ounce football jigs, and you're gonna be set, you're gonna be great. I absolutely love the hula grub and if you guys guys like other finesse fishing techniques, then you can actually watch this video that I did right here on fishing a Ned Rig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.